Jean-Pierre, nous sommes devant la machine pour la fabrication de... Jean-Pierre, we're in front of the machine for the fabrication of the strap attachment piece. Can you show us how the part arrives here and the part after it's been cut out? Bien sûr. Nous commençons par... Of course. We begin with a profile that conforms to that of our strap attachment piece. Okay, so it's cut out. Exactement. Donc, uh, dans le profilé. Exactly. With the profile, we can machine several parts on the piece that we receive from our friends in Lausanne. La fibre de carbone. Carbon fiber is very aggressive with the cutting tools. The cutting tools that you can see on the machine have a useful life of 10 to 12 parts so that we have to change out the tool often. If we don't, there will be deterioration in the carbon because the machine will not cut cleanly. Can you make a comparison of the wear, for example, with a normal case such as stainless steel or perhaps gold, compared to carbon fiber? A steel case or one in titanium allows us to make 200 or 300 cases with the same tool. With carbon or textilium, that would be 12. So you can see right away the difference in the handling of the tool and the cost of the wear of the tool. And now that the uh, process is finished, it's time to take out the machined part. Jean-Pierre, nous, nous avons vu uh, le dé... Jean-Pierre, we've seen the cutting of the strap attachment, but after that, there's hand finishing, which must be done. Indeed. What is she doing? Voilà, donc comme le, <coughs> l'usinage... Since the machining leaves very tiny burrs on the edges of the part, it's necessary to have a fine abrasive to take off the tiny burrs and also to clean up the holes. Pour que à l'entrée des trous. This is like a file operation. One can say file, but in fact it is an abrasive paper because a file is too coarse for the surface we want. We want an abrasive that is very fine like this small stick and next a small polisher to remove the small defects at the edge of the hole. You have to do this very carefully to avoid scratches. Exactly, because we had a protection layer earlier that's not here now. So we have to do this without scratching anything. We are in the room, the assembly room for the case, and we have the case which is the same that we saw earlier in your office, I believe. The whole case is like this one. There's one more operation to position the bezel. We can see the strap attachment piece here integrated into the whole case. Le taxilium, the taxilium that we saw. L'embout de bracelet que nous avons vu tout à l'heure, usine. Yes, the taxilium that we saw being fashioned. Now we are covering the mechanism, leaving open the zone with the pusher for the mechanism. This allows the owner to have several straps of different colors and to change them himself. De changer lui-même son bracelet. Very quickly. Click, click. Click, click. Il change de d'habit avec d'autres. Click, click. He can change the look with another color as he wants. Donc l'assemblage de l'attache bracelet sur uh, la boîte de montre à l'aide de deux vis. The strap attachment assembly is attached to the case with two screws that have the Hublot design engraved on them that requires a special screwdriver. To guarantee that the screws are properly tight, there's a dynamometric screwdriver that delivers the correct torque, and that makes the small click that you hear. You see here the functioning of the pusher. You can test it with a bracelet 
and you hear the click, like a seat belt. One more time. Now you see the bezel made of texilium. You can see that for aesthetic reasons, we have decided to have a blue slightly different from the rest of the components. And you can see the adaptability of texilium that allows us to get the particular color we want, one that's vibrant. Now the placement of the bezel with the screws of the type we saw earlier. And now we start with a dynametric screwdriver to tighten all of the screws. Thank you.